far. Alright. Okay, hello. So, today I'm gonna make another Star Citizen video because, well, they updated Sir, you're being hunted, so now my saves are incompatible, so I'd have to start over anyway, and I haven't actually made any new videos in a while for it. And I should probably make more Let's Plays in case anybody actually likes them. Um, huh. Well, that's great. It's skipping frames. Probably because my hangar's a lot bigger now. Yep. Um, what did they add? I don't remember. I think hair. Yes, oh, I remember. Look at this. Okay. Now, when you switch into the uh, this dude thing, uh, you get to have hair. So I don't know. I may have already said that. Um, today is my birthday. I'd sing something, but then you know, Warner Chapel would have this video taken down, so, uh, I'm not going to. Um, yeah. Or rather, YouTube's auto-censorship would have it taken down for the benefit of Warner Chapel. But, anyway, I don't think there's anything new here. Um... Something about better metal. Oh, that was in the. Uh, oh, I remember. There we go. Yeah, isn't that awesome? Sound effect. Okay. Okay, come on. Well, that's odd. Um. There we go. That actually works now too. Although the little extra ramp part um, needs some more sound or something. I don't know. So um, I also got myself that legionnaire, but I think I already mentioned that. They still haven't added the actual uh, hard points for those things on the hard points on the top. And you aren't actually supposed to get extra weapons on those hard points by default, according to the schematic or the specs or whatever, so that's kind of weird. Um, oh yeah, the missile launcher actually has missiles on it now, though. I presume you actually get those four missiles when you uh, first spawn the vehicle, I'd hope. I wonder how much ammo you would start with for a weapon that spawns with uh, ammo if you've got like an insurance claim got destroyed. Uh, you can climb into here and you no longer have some weird outline and clip into your body anymore, so that's kind of cool. Uh, yep, you just see your inside of your neck, which is not quite so cool. There. No, whatever. Oh, clipping, clipping. Oh my, clipping errors. Hmm. Right. Also, when you exit the vehicle now, there's this nice thing where you don't climb out of the bottom anymore, which was kind of really bizarre. Uh, yeah. Um,. I'm sure they've fixed a bunch of lighting. And then finally, I, uh, just before the end of LTI, that's, uh, lifetime insurance got ended at, on November the 26th. But I, uh, I managed to get this. Yep. I got back my old. 315p, not 350p. You still sit on top of the seat belt, which is kind of odd. But look at this. Yeah, beep boop, beep beep boop. I don't know. 
you still pull pull the the foot pedals up with your feet. I don't know how you do that. That's pretty magical. And um yeah, I'm pressing Q right now, so now I'm pressing E. It's still kind of backwards like that. Huh. But all that side. Oh, I can actually see the holsters from here. That's kinda cool. Uh, I just put my foot hand through them. Hmm. So that's cool. <coughs> eh, excuse me. Yeah, here. I can actually stick the uh, Legionnaire missile pod on the wing uh, hard points, but they uh, end up upside down. So that's kind of weird. Still no footsteps for first person mode. Apparently if you have a buggy they added an optical course. That was a while ago though. And some of the screens now will actually have a working uh, cycling looping looping uh, video unfortunately. Yeah. They only show the Aurora advertisement. Oh man, I'm sliding all over the place here. Huh. And... Well, now I can stick all sorts of weird weapons on everything in every which way, so... For example, I could... Pull the big-ass guns off of this thing. has not shit. And, uh... Holy shit. There are really big guns on this thing that are sinking into the floor. They really do have to work on the, uh... landing struts a little. But I'm sure they will, because they seem pretty damn obsessive with, uh... making the graphical fidelity the max possible. And, um... Well, I mean, they fixed the Freelancer pretty well. Could do a few more things, but... I don't know. I mean, this is really simple compared to stuff like the fact that the uh, Constellation is just a huge mess of... I mean, it's not that it's ugly or anything, it just doesn't make any sense. Um... Man, why do not they gonna let me pull the bed out on the 315P? I wanna see that. Hmm... Well... Apparently this engine is actually different from the one that's in the uh, 325 and the 300i. I don't know. No. Yeah, that's about it, I guess. The uh, dogfighting module was supposed to come out this month, but from what I understand, only the single-player portion will because of issues. So we'll be able to shoot down AI planes or spacecraft, rather, with our fighters. I'm not quite clear on whether they're supposed to be just our fighters, or if you'll be able to control multiple fighters, because, uh... Hmm. I thought I'd read that it was just your own fighters from the devs or something, but then Asitra, well, who's a, another YouTube person, and also a um... Star Citizen fan. She has a much nicer voice than I do. Um, said otherwise, so I don't know if she knows more than me or what. I haven't really been paying that much attention lately. Yep. Well, I don't know. I feel like I should end with something cool, but I don't actually have anything cool to end with. Wish they'd added the gun thing in here. They had a gun rig that they were showing at there. Yeah, well, whatever. Uh, that's about it. Uh, hmm. 
Not much to see here. 